so before starting with disaccharides let's look uh, we will just just discuss the differences between alpha d glucose and beta d glucose this is the linear uh, chain of glucose molecule since it's a aldohexose see it's a cho group so it has it's a six carbon compound with first ohh second carbon as ohh third carbon hoh fourth ohh fifth as ohh and sixth ch2oh and as discussed in our previous video how it converts into a ring structure see this is the arrangement hoh so the first carbon which is present here combines with the fifth carbon this is the sixth carbon outside the ring so rest of the uh, chain you can see the second carbon is here hoh third carbon ohh fourth carbon and fifth carbon right so now if you see the difference between beta and alpha structure the first carbon h and oh arrangements are different this is alpha d glucose oh is at the bottom beta glucose beta d glucose oh is on the top right okay after this coming back to disaccharides so maltose has a alpha 14 glycosidic linkage one glucose molecule combines with another glucose molecule with the help of alpha 14 glycosidic linkage now why is this called alpha 14 glycosidic linkage because both oh are oh of this glucose and oh of this glucose are at the bottom here see this oh is also here this oh is also here since h2o molecule has to you know we have to remove the h2o molecule whenever we are combining two monomers so both the oh are present here that's why this is called alpha 14 with the numbering you may understand this is carbon number 1 combining with carbon number 4 of another glucose 